All right, so if you've ever looked up like music production videos on YouTube, you've certainly gotten these advertisements that were selling MIDI chord packs. They're scams. MIDI chord packs are scams. To show why they're scams, here, I'm just gonna load up random synthesizer. All right, so in FL Studio for one, you know, there's this tool that not everybody knows about called the stamp tool. You can literally get all the chords, literally all of the chords you would ever need just right here. See, and you just drag it in and then you click it and you can, you can do whatever you want with it. Not only that, but you can even drag in scales. So something that I would do, you know, if I'm using like a more exotic scale that I can't exactly remember, you know, I'm just going to do major here. Normally I would do it with a weirder scale, but see, so you can just drag in, you stamp the scale. So this is every note that would be in B major. And so then you can just literally match the chords that you have. See, this has B, F sharp, C sharp. That fits in the key of B major. So there we have a chord. And then see, this chord would not fit. But this chord would C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B. So then we could put that there, you know? And so it's literally just that, like that's what these chord packs are doing. And then you can look up, like let's look up interesting chord progressions. I'm doing it in another tab, but just, so, you know, I just pulled up a list of 10 chord progressions just right away. You know, so this first one is we got, we got a major four, we got a major one with us added six and we got a minor two. So in C major, all the white keys are C major, right? So we're just going to do this in C major, make it really easy. So I'm going to do stamp for now, but I'm going to show you how you could actually make your own chords in just a second. So we're going to do major and four. So one, two, three, four. That's the first chord. It's literally that simple. The second one is major with a sixth. So we're going to stamp. But so that's one. There we go. Minor. So we're going to stamp just minor and then we're going up to the second. But so here we go. We've got a chord progression that we just got off the Internet for free, by the way. Why would you pay for that? Not only that, but even if you didn't have the stamp tool, building chords is super easy. So pretty much all chords are built by placing thirds on top of each other. So what a third is, is it's quite literally the third note in the key. C major, like I said, is all the white keys. So that's literally the C major scale. That way we can keep a kind of keep an eye on what's what. Uh, notice there's no sharps, no flats. It's just just the plain letters. That's C major. So C major is a really good key to like kind of figure things out. In. And like I said, building a chord is generally just building thirds. So here we go. We start with C and then D is the second. E is the third. So this is a major third interval. That's the basis of a major chord. In comparison, we could have a minor which so if we start with D and then E would be the second from D, F would be the third. So we built this minor interval, but then we drag it down to C, kind of give you an example. A minor interval is you literally just take the, the third a half step down. And so if you go one third up from there, you add the fifth. And so this creates like a full chord, like a major chord or a minor chord, depending on the first third. Because a third up from the third of the chord is a fifth. Because, you know, if you imagine E is the one, then F is the two, G is the third. It's just a minor third on top of a major third, you have a major chord. And then you swap it for a minor chord. You have a major third on top of a minor third. You can keep going and keep adding thirds you'll get a seventh. So that's a major seventh there. You get a ninth. And you can go all the way up to 13. You know, which 13th chords are difficult to use. So, you know, you might want to stick to something like this. I don't know. Uh, and from there, you can make things a bit weirder. You know, for example, you know, there's that chord that we used earlier that had added six. It's literally just this. You add the sixth note, which is just one above the fifth. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's really this simple. And like I said, if you look up chord progressions, you will find like an endless number of good sounding chord progressions that, you know, have already kind of been tested out. But not only that, but you can take a chord progression that you like. So here, we're going to take just a chord progression that's in this list. But so here, I'm going to start with like a very basic chord progression. Uh, so that's a major one, major five, minor six, major four. And then now look, we can change things. We could add a seventh here, maybe. Uh, we could add a sixth and a ninth. 
here. Maybe drag the 6th and the ninth down an octave. Who knows? You know, and then maybe here we'll add a ninth, but not the 7th. And then maybe we'll end on another major 7th. You know, and it's that easy to make your own like unique chord progressions. You can literally just add a note on top of a chord progression you got. If it sounds better, keep it. If it doesn't, get rid of it. It's so easy and they know it's this easy, but they're trying to sell it to you anyways because they think that you're dumb. Like that's the only reason why you would really sell a MIDI chord pack is you think people are dumb. But yeah, don't be dumb. Just learn a tiny, tiny. This is a very small amount of music theory that you have to learn. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And then you basically get, you know, it'll take you, it'll take you maybe 20 minutes to figure this out. Not even actually. It won't even take you 20 minutes, I don't think. I promise you will figure this out so quick. They're charging nearly $50 for this. It's, it's literally a scam. Help yourself learn a little bit. But so yeah, that's all I had today. I just, I got that ad and I was very annoyed. They're just like, yeah, you're dumb. Like that's basically what the advertisement is. I don't want to see people get taken advantage of like that. It's, it's stupid. I thought I'd make this real quick. Also, let me know in the comments below, should I maybe go into music theory? Because I know quite a bit about music theory, but I know a lot of producers don't. And that's what's letting them be taken advantage of in this way. You know, if people just knew a little bit more music theory, they wouldn't have this problem. They wouldn't be taken advantage of. But at the same time, I know like learning music theory as a producer can be really weird. You know, they'll, they'll be like showing you sheet music and all that. And it's like, we don't work with sheet music. I, I don't like you probably see sheet music and like your brain just turns off. Like that's not what we're working with. If I should teach music theory through like a doll through FL Studio. I could definitely do that. I could run you through everything you need to know, but maybe in a format that you prefer, which would be like this. You know what I mean? But so yeah, let me know if that's what you want and subscribe if that's what you want. And if this video helped you, you know, if I if I just saved you $50, be sure to like the video. I saved you $50. A, a like is free and it helps me and I helped you. you. You don't think you don't think that could even out a bit? You know, I don't know. Just a thought. But yeah, seriously, if this helped you, it would help me if you like the video. And I'll see you around.